Welcome back to A Faster Me. Thanks for joining us out here on day one of Valley of the Sun. So this is the stage race and the sun is out. It's a little chilly, but doesn't feel too bad. So we're looking to give a pretty good effort um, on the time trial today. So hoping to do a little bit better than last year. I think I did 28 minutes last year, looking to do 27 or below. So tune in to see how we did. Thanks for joining us here at the start line of the time trial. I have some lovely ladies joining me today, so I'll let them introduce themselves. Felicia, hello everybody. And this is Ashley, you'll see me at the end. <laughs> this is Marlena. So we had a, we have Felicia guest riding for us this weekend, so nice to have her out here and I was a little bit disappointed at the start line. They did not have a holder. So Ashley and I were just doing our warm up and talking about kind of some <laughs> tips to <laughs> coming from the how, holder. And how we were excited that there was gonna be one. <laughs> and so then I was a little bit disappointed to not have one, but um, just kind of trying to start out not too hard. It's really easy, I think, when you first hit the um, start line to have your adrenaline pumping and, and put a lot of effort out and sometimes it's a little bit, I don't know, doesn't do you justice because you go out too hard and then you can't hold that. So um, how, did, how did you ladies feel like your, your starts were today? I feel like my start was, I, I, I did notice I was like at 300 lots um, for a second and I was like, hey, wait a second, I'm not going to be able to hold that. So. Anthony and Anthony did kind of um, suggest or remind me that yeah your adrenaline is pumping and and uh, you're gonna start out pretty hard and just remember you know pace yourself because you got what was it uh, 26 minutes of, of riding so but yeah I did start out a little bit too hot and and Felicia is a cat three. What were you trying to? What were you aiming to hold? I know it's been a while since you've done an FTP, so you were kind of using that. This yeah. is an FTP. What was your goal? I, my goal was to stay at above two hundred, so two hundred to two ten, somewhere around there. That was my goal. And Ashley, how how did you start? And what was your aim for? I know you didn't have power, right. so um, what, what were you thinking? Yeah, so we talked a little bit before about, because uh, I don't have power, I wanted to go by perceived effort um, and how I wanted to go out uh, a little bit on the cooler side and then uh, pick up in the second half um, after the turnaround point. So I think I did that pretty well looking at my um, speed afterwards. I didn't even have my head unit um, in front of me. <laughs> so <laughs> intentionally, because I oh put aero gosh. bars on my bike and then there's no place to put my head unit. But um, but yeah, I think it worked out well. I hadn't ridden the last week, so I kind of didn't have high expectations. So I kind of was just using this to um, warm up the legs <laughs> for the next couple of days. And Ashley is definitely a gamer. So she comes out on, on race day ready to perform. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, all, the, all those factors, I, I think I would have been, been a mess. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Marlena? Uh, I didn't really have any expectations. I just... I think last year going into this event, we had done a little bit more like 20 minute uh, interval work and we were, I was probably a little bit more fit to do well in a time trial. This year we've been doing more um, like repeatability efforts and a little bit more VO2. So I wasn't expecting to feel great <laughs> during the time trial. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And what was your goal? My goal was to stay, oh, was your goal? Oh, did you both say of what your goal? I, I didn't really have one. I think I, I would have been happy to do more power than I did last year. Mm -hmm. um, and last year you did about two. I did 233 average, and I did not accomplish that goal this year. <laughs> I knew straight away going into it, I knew I, like holding that number felt a lot different than it did last year. So I had to, quickly forget about that goal and just stick to um, giving it as hard as I could. 
But you went faster this year. Yeah. And ha carried a higher miles per hour and used about 25 watts less. Yeah. So that's, I'd say, pretty good. And my goal was to be over 200 on the first half and then mm -hmm. try to stay maybe 230 on the second half. My goal was to be about 220, 225, and I was able to hold 220 for the duration. I did not get under 27 minutes like I had hoped. I did about 27, 22, which was enough for second place out of three Woo! in my uh, master's category. So Ashley is doing the category four this year, which has about 27 riders and Marlena and Felicia are doing the cat three, which also has about 27 riders. But what's also gonna be good tomorrow and Sunday for crit is that you both race together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Mm -hmm. That will be really exciting to see. Yeah, the Masters 50 plus, 35 plus, and the Cat 4 riders are all going together. So I think that was about 36 riders when I counted them up. Mm -hmm. So kind of nice to have a little bit bigger field. But um, yeah, so you'll so all go ahead. The, so the course, I'm just looking at the video now. So the course is a flat L shape. Right, so you go out for like three miles, three and a half miles. Three point nine. You go out three point nine miles. Mm -hmm. You make a turn. Um, do you know where you are on the course right now? Can't exactly tell. The video is quite small as we're watching it, but. Last year at about 11 and a half minutes, I made the turn and it, it's a pretty fast right hand turn. And I was happy this year, just having a little bit of familiarity with the court, the course, I was able to take the corner and pedal through it and kind of kept the power down. So I know um, Ashley and Felicia haven't seen the course. So it's a little bit different when you haven't had that experience. So how was that right hand turn for you guys? Um, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. So we were talking earlier about how there are people at all the turns and the turnaround points doing the slow down hand signal. And so I was like, oh, like, am I coming in too hot? <laughs> I don't know. But, Is yeah. there gravel down? What's going yeah. on? Yeah, right? Like, what happened? So that was new for me. But um, but yeah, it was, it was OK. Uh, what was surprised me about the course, and because I haven't done a TT before, uh, was I didn't really think about how short 10 miles was, so the right turn actually came quicker than I thought, um, which was pretty cool. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, oh, wow, oh, already here. Yeah. <laughs> and for me, it was pretty sharp, so, <laughs> you know, I, I just noticed that I was, I, I slowed down a lot, and when I saw the turn, I was just like, oh, my God, I'm going to go into the other lane, so I <laughs> really slowed down, which was you know probably not a good thing that i had to slow down so much um but uh, yeah i i, I kind of felt like i was gonna fly off the course so i slowed <laughs> down it's a pretty sharp right turn and you did not have a time trial bike so marlene and i were on tt bikes ashley put some aero bars on her mm -hmm. hers and felicia just had her you know well, i do have the aero the the handlebars the aero bars also the aero okay. bars but um I guess because I'm not used, this is my first time trial in, I would say, around seven years. Wow. And so I'm not really used to training in that position. And um, when I put the time trial bars on the first time, when I did my first time trial, it just wasn't comfortable. I wasn't able to get the hang of it, I guess. And so we just kind of opted in this race to just leave them on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes I think it's, it, you're kind of using different muscles. Mm -hmm. So since I wasn't really used to, I, I didn't really do the training for um, the time trial and in that position, we kind of just opted to, to leave them off. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's funny because uh, I, I think I lucked out because I got <laughs> uh, arrow bars literally uh, yesterday <laughs> and, uh, from a friend, shout out to Chris, so we, okay. and put them on right before we went to warm up. And Anthony was like, this might not be a good idea, but he was <laughs> like, you can just not use them because it's like flat, like the extra weight doesn't really matter. 
But it turns out they're super comfortable. Okay. I guess I lucked out with the position. So that was... That's good. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't feel weird on the turns or... I got out of them for the turns. Um, <laughs> it was okay. It was good. Yeah. yeah. The bumps weren't bad. <laughs> I think my position's good such that my abs are engaged the right amount such that even if my hands aren't on the bars, I feel pretty stable. So. And you will notice a slightly different camera angle than at least I'm used to having and, and seeing. My helmet that usually has the camera mounted to it went down in the crash at CBR, and so I need to get a new one. And my current helmet is not very aerodynamic. It has lots of holes in it, and there's no place to mount, mount the camera mount. So therefore, it was right here where you see it under my computer and under my handlebars yes yeah, so how did you feel in the position so i think last year you did it with this bike uh, it was one of your first times on it i think mm -hmm. how did you feel on the bike today a lot better i think you know we've had done a few time trials in between and actually this is my favorite of the three races, so I feel like it's all downhill from here. So I really love a good time <laughs> trial. Um, just the kind of steady state suffering is what I enjoy. But it, I was trying to just stay relaxed, put the power through, you know, the pedals um, versus having a lot of tension in your upper body. I do feel a little bit of soreness in my uh, triceps. And here, I think I got out of the arrow bars. Here comes the right hand corner. And yes, that's a good that turn. Looks good, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm proud of that turn. I, <laughs> I um, yeah. kept I'm the not. steady power. I only came out for a second, so that was I would say my U-turn is definitely not mm. that sharp. I'm, I'm not quite as proud of that. But that right-hand corner I set up good on the <laughs> on the outside and and, and took a, a good line and yeah, just just pedaled through. So. And it's possible that you don't even need to come out of the arrow bars. I think I did one hand in, one hand out. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> and this is about a mile stretch down, and then you do a U-turn, and it'll be about a mile back. And then you, you finish out the last three point whatever miles. But it doesn't go all the way back to where we started. so that kind of throws you off just in, in your mind of where you're finishing. So you're holding pretty pretty good power here. Kind of yeah. went up from like low 200s. Did you kind of transition here? Or? Well, I was trying to settle in because I wanted to really hammer on the way out, but I noticed that I spiked a lot in each corner. So that right-hand mm -hmm. turn, I don't know if it's just adrenaline or trying to carry power evenly through it. I think I, I definitely was into the 300s and then same thing spiking out of the U-turn and the corner on the way back. So I was still trying to stay a little bit relaxed. I was thinking of last year, Marlena saying, I tried to use this section to recover. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, but still trying to hold the steady power, and then I was preparing my mind to really try to go hard the last half of the race. I should have taken my own advice. <laughs> <laughs> I think this section was hard for me because the the U-turn is coming, mm -hmm. um, and last year I think I lost a lot of time in the U-turn, and Actus was not going so well <laughs> with U-turns on this bike <laughs> for me. Um, and there, it was just pretty windy. Did you feel like windy? I think I, uh, Alicia and I raced a couple hours after you. Mm -hmm. Did you notice any wind either of you in this course? Uh, as as a climber, I always feel wind. So <laughs> when I'm on flats, <laughs> so <laughs> I felt it in both directions. But there was no like crosswind. It was just like a light, head, very light headwind. And, I don't know if it makes sense for it to have been in both directions, but that's what I felt. <laughs> what about you, Ellen? Um, uh, Edmund? Both directions? I don't know. I, I couldn't really tell. I don't think that there was a ton of wind, but I definitely 
didn't feel like I could go as hard on the way back as it seems like there was a little bit of a tailwind last year. So, um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what, what the wind was doing. So yeah. it's definitely not my strong suit of figuring out which way the wind is blowing <laughs> because it kind of feels like it's blowing in every direction if yeah. you turn your face mm -hmm. everywhere, when you, especially when you're going as fast as you can. So here's the U-turn. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a good U-turn too. Yeah. That was down to five miles an hour. I think the TT bikes just are not made for U-turns. So it just feels a little awkward. And there I'm spiking way time. over 300. Okay, maybe not way over, but 337. I said no. But you're on your way back. <laughs> on my way yeah. back. So it definitely goes, goes quicker. And I could tell... So, so unfortunately, the there there was going to be four people in the category, but one did not make it, and so there's only three girls in my category. And one of the riders, I could I saw her on the way back, and I knew she had at least two minutes on me, and she only started a minute in front of me because we were passing at a minute from the U-turn. If that makes sense, it makes sense in my head, but. It's um, about my bedtime, so I'm not sure what's translating to the audience here. Um, so, but I could see the writer in front of me. I was trying to make up some ground on her. So I was hoping that, that I was closing that gap a little bit. And I do pass Ashley at some point here on this stretch. Yeah, I remember seeing you here. I think I gave you a thumbs up, but I couldn't say anything. I was, <laughs> I was too tired. I understood. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I, you can see about 240. I'm trying to just do as much as I can here. And how are you ladies feeling as you were kind of hitting the back stretch? Rough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, uh, pretty quickly, I closed a gap with a rider in front of me, and so kind of using that as my carrot, mm -hmm. but I just, our gap was staying still, like I wasn't gaining any more time on her, and at this point I was tired of like just being in a standstill, but I didn't have much more to give. Um, mm. So I was getting a little frustrated here, and and I think I just was having a hard time finding the rhythm in the the position with that bike in the conditions. So I was in my head a little bit here, um, but I was just not looking at my power. Kind of like Ashley going off of perceived effort. Like yes, I was giving it. 90 percent but it didn't matter what the, what the power was do you feel like you went out too fast or was it just the position you weren't really grooving with the how it felt yeah i just i, I went out a little i mean i definitely faded uh, but it wasn't super dramatic yeah. i mean i could tell right away like i said earlier like i could just tell that number was not going to be possible mm -hmm. so yeah well, and you said you weren't feeling very well right yeah. before the race started, and I think, you know, just for you to, two, 205 or something you <laughs> averaged, which is definitely, you can do a lot more than that, just, I mean, typically. I pride. <laughs> yeah, even just not even really trying, that that's typically a pretty easy effort. So I think you, you know, great job being efficient, and, yeah. you know, we just never know exactly what we are going to bring that day based on all of the other conditions mm -hmm. of yeah. life and health and Definitely. how your legs feel. You just never know. How about you, Ashley? How do you feel with this So on that same topic, <laughs> not having ridden the last week because I was um, not feeling well. Um, yeah, my legs just felt very lactic -y from the get-go. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that way, they do after you haven't ridden for a while. Uh, so I kind of went out too slow, it felt like, but I think I needed that easy build up, even though we warmed up quite a bit, I still needed that 
like feeling the power, um, that power level for a little bit before I really started to um, get into the zone. So in the second half here, I felt like I was really starting to be able to push the power a little bit without going too hard. But I mean, <laughs> it wasn't the best effort overall, but I was just happy to yeah, have pushed through. At the end, like in this area over here, I, I saw that I was starting to, my watts were starting to go down to like maybe 170, 180 around there. And I my goal, of course, like I said earlier, was to try to stay in the 200, above 200. But I too had somebody in front of me that was in view that I was just trying to at least, you know, catch up with her and, um, and so that kind of helped motivate me to, to, to I guess, just pull through. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but yeah, in this section, I remember my, my wattage going down to 170, 180. And um, uh, so mm -hmm. I was start, starting to um, slow down a little bit here. Yeah, but I knew I was getting towards the end. And I finally did pass the, the girl in front of me. Finally did pass her. Um, oh, good. So that was encouraging. Yeah. Yeah. That's always yeah. a good little boost. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So that was encouraging. And, and that kind of helped me kind of, again, just, you know, get myself to the end and, and up my wattage as much as I could. And I did not pass anybody and nobody passed me because I was the last of the women's 35 mm -hmm. plus and then Ashley started right behind me, but I think there was about a two and a half minute gap. So I would have been very disappointed if, um, multiple people came flying by me with that big of a gap so had a little bit more of a lonely ride but I think um, Felicia as you're talking about power dropping it's really easy to just kind of space out and mm -hmm. it's hard to stay kind of in your head and suffer for the duration because mm -hmm. it, it's just I mean your mind wanders and I think Ashley you described it as meditative so it really is just easy to I don't know, kind of lose yourself and hard to stay dialed into yeah. that suffer suffering. Yeah. I know I was kind of playing with a few different things. I tried to keep a little bit higher cadence to not have my legs taxed quite as much. So I averaged a, mu a much higher cadence than I normally do. It was in the, the 90s. Um, so I was happy to do that. Did any of you uh, take any on the bike. I know it's a 26 second or 26, 28 minute effort. Mm -hmm. Is Why? that like? Thank you for accommodating. <laughs> 29. <laughs> no, Six but, 29. Right? Like, I'm always looking for nutrition tips. Did, like, did you take anything right before? Did you take anything during? I think I ended up drinking about one and a half bottles of, of my water, which wow. had. Which one had, and a half? Uh, bottles yeah because I drank my entire bottle okay. and and not during the, not during the race yes okay. but before before Ooh. the race yeah because <laughs> it was a long day and it was and hot it was hot out and I did my warm-up and I wanted to make sure that I stayed hydrated and I knew that I was not going to be able to drink a lot while I was riding so I drank pretty much a, an entire bottle of my my water, which was with, mixed with Carbo Pro and uh, electrolytes, and um, so then during the race, I drank. I switched my bottles with Danny's because he had left over, and I drank during the race maybe two two sips, so like another half a bottle of maybe of, of water to stay hydrated. Ashley. Yeah, so uh, so luckily in the morning when Ellen and I were riding, it wasn't as hot as you can see. It was like in the high 50s, and it was the, with the sun. The sun was just, just beautiful, <laughs> delightful. Beautiful, delightful, but it really, really gets you <laughs> later, in, especially later well, in the day. Yeah, we also have to consider that tomorrow we have the road race. So I wanted to make sure yeah. I, I st we stayed, you know, hydrated. Yeah. So, so I, I didn't. I drank some water on the just like a couple sips, but I didn't have any nutrition. Well, I had three shot blocks right before we started. <laughs> and then I knew I wouldn't really need anything, but I did put the other three on my top tube. So 
I thought, okay, maybe the last stretch, I'll just have a little extra um, burst of energy. So on this home stretch, I, I popped one in my mouth, but I, I was not successful in chewing and swallowing it. <laughs> so I just kind of kept it in my mouth because I was, suffer <laughs> I was suffering so much, um, just trying to push hard that it felt like it would take more energy to chew oh it God. and swallow it <laughs> than to just leave it there and focus on putting the effort into my petals. So yeah, I won't be doing that again, I don't think. Um, and then I couldn't even get another drink of water, and I really needed that drink of water. So I was struggling, but it was... Because um... it's, also, I mean, it's also dry out here. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, affects, it affects you. <laughs> so, the, um, and I took me one or two drinks um, during, during the actual the race. race. I think you're still and pushing 240 here. Yeah, you really. I, I felt pretty good. My, I don't know if that's a bad sign for tomorrow. 46 miles, here we come. I'm hoping it's a good sign of having the right fitness. I don't mm. know. This is my first race since the crash. So I just wanted to put kind of my effort and focus into Valley of the Sun. And so, so far, day one successful. I think mm. we missed the second turn on the way back, or at least I missed it. Um, it means it probably went smoothly. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't bad, but I don't know if I was looking at somebody talking. But um, yeah, I think you're close to the finish line. The finish line was actually a different point than our start line, which I think was confusing some folks. You saw some people uh, continue to race past the finish oh, no. line. Um, but so that you, you finish sooner than you started. Uh, and, and last year there was a few markers. I think it said like 1K to go. Oh, yeah, I, I completely I, I missed saw. any markers oh, and I was looking for them, so. Maybe, so maybe they didn't have them set up in the morning? Oh, uh, our, yes, probably. Had, I think so, because ours. We had 3K to go, we had 1K to go, uh, we had uh -huh. 500 meters to oh, go. Oh, that's what we had last year and we did not have that. Oh. Unless I missed all of them, but I don't think so. Maybe I was feeling pretty focused. Here. Well, they didn't have a holder, and, mm -hmm. and but hey, they did, yeah. You know, I guess move move up to a higher level, and you get some of those benefits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you have to race later too, much That's much true. later. Pros and cons, right? Yes. You get to maybe sleep in, and I like to race in the warmth of the day, but I do not like the nerves of sitting around to yes, wait but to the race. Crit on Sunday. And here's, it looks like here's the finish line. Ooh. Yeah, so yeah. thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning back in to the first day of Valley of the Sun, the time trial. Um, beautiful day out here. No leg or arm warmers needed. Um, this is Ashley's first time trial. So how was it for you out there? Uh, I see why people like time trials. It's very meditative. <laughs> uh, I put some aero bars on my bike and that was super comfortable. Um, yeah, it was fun. I think I did about the same power as last year. We'll have that analyzed on the, the video that you just watched. And what was that power? I think I did normalized of 220 and average of 219, so pretty much even pedaling the, the whole time. I think my speed, at least according to the Wahoo, again, you'll have all the, the numbers probably talked about in the in the video, but just wanted to give a little post-race analysis coming off of it. So anyway. Excellent. Good start. See you tomorrow.